Hello, Ter are you from Iran? Why I keep seeing you? Why not go away? Why you why, why you keep around? Like everyone, we're still here, 20 September 2022. This second time. I think either CIA, Mossad or FBI, I, somebody want this picture, okay? Somebody want this picture. I am tired of always speaking wherever I go as tourists, as a mujahideen, as a shit. Shit will always follow me. I go to my home village, my village in Turkey, okay? I see the same exact picture. What is this? I go to a hotel, they come up, uh, up me, right, left, side, down, under. I can't not see, understand which technology. The only thing that is sure is that they make my flights transit, okay? I was going for Dubai 11 days ago. Like last time, two years before, okay? And what I, do, what I did was only asking politely, can you please engage in giving my COVID-22, okay? There's not even any COVID at this moment. But they needed me to take this test. And I am sorry to say, I cannot give it until your flight has a, like a, a take out. So uh, by the time I can give you this test uh, results, your flight has a, is away, she say. And I end up in a police station. And all this uh, VIP elite Yahudi people, okay, they get on board this uh, flight and landed in Dubai to do this. That's happening at this moment. And what's happening at this moment, I like almost lost all my money. Always, always and almost. All my money. And the only thing that I remember from here is what? I go to the hole and the hole and the hole and the hole, like shithole, okay? A shithole village called Darhut. It's a little fisher village. Maybe 100, uh, maybe 50 people live in this little village, okay? And then I see all this VIP Yahudi escort, okay? They come around me, make dude, dude, speak with the local people. I don't understand why. And I don't understand why I see the Europeans. But I understand now as I go to Turkey, I'm going to see this again. And there's no tourist season left in Turkey. I don't know here in Oman, this great Arabic kingdom. Uh, but in my country, no tourist season is left. Go home, I will say, okay? So when I go now to Istanbul or Konya, my town, I see this. This is where it's going to explode. What is this? Come here and, and uh, I'm a Muslim country making me homeless, making me angry, making me mad. Oh, system, system, system. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I only get sick by some, uh, I don't know what it is. Like some clima perfume, some shit. I don't know what it is. And the other thing is some Arab people's culture, they take on them, there's something else. But this is a, like a, a, in the airspace you will use. They say once is to clean the clima for coronavirus uh, and in the airplanes at least, because people at that time uh, flying would say, <coughs> "What is this?" <laughs> uh, and they would say, "Oh, it's uh, corona symptoms, corona symptoms." Oh, and after we change it, oh, it's uh, our new uh, conditioning system, clima system. Uh, it's to clean the air. It, it, it might make you a little bit <coughs> okay. I recorded this picture in Spain, uh, where the military in Spain was around every of, uh, official, non-official place uh, and spray out some, I don't know what it was, even in uh, Malaga airport, uh, they would come in big, big tankers uh, and like, uh, I don't know what they did for the, for, uh, for the air of this tourist, of me and all the British, all the French. Uh, but we were all of a sudden, <laughs> okay, uh, and this was before this uh, corona, corona vaccination program. Uh, and all of me and all these people uh, in, inside Malaga airport, it was like, what is happening? What is happening? Uh, and they will say in this announcement system, uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, we are just here to clean the air uh, because coronavirus is now in the air. So we need to spray something, okay? Uh, and this something has the similar order of this something I was getting into my hotel room again this morning. So let's say it's the Iranian suicide squad, okay? We can also say it's the free men of uh, Europe uh, coming and uh, paying all this uh, noble and uh, brave Muslim men, okay? To commit this, uh, th th this system. And this system is I go to a little village. Instead of people giving me a, cha a cup of uh, coffee, a, a, a chai, it will end up in them saying, where are you from? Are you a terrorist? Okay, so how can I be a terrorist inside a Muslim country? And this, this doesn't make sense. But maybe this white man could answer. Probably. Oh, the British. Oh, this is empowering. Uh, I remember this man too. 
So he will remember me only in my home country where there will be bitches and height. This is my reality. This is my little reality. So now I make this transit from Dubai to Istanbul, inshallah, okay? And that's not even where I'm going. Maybe I go Antalya again and see them there walking around, sneaking around, making he 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 he. It's empowering. It's so empowering. Oh. But yeah, it's the same picture, it's the same people, it's the same comments, it's the same arguments, it's the same, uh, what do you say, attack on sovereignty. Because already before I am here or there or down or up, uh, they already know I'm coming, in, I'm coming in. Yes, I was coming into Oman uh, five days, six, seven days ago maybe. And after my entrance to Oman, I start seeing this, uh, this uh, regrettable uh, vision of people uh, not belonging here. Okay, I, I, I'm a visitor, but, but like not, not belonging here is that I see the intentions of their uh, time here in, in, in Oman. And that's the correspondence, it's, it's, it's the conversation with the officials, it's the conversation with the civil, uh, local uh, co uh, communities uh, around Oman. Uh, and by this I would understand that something has been spoken uh, either before I arrive or a little after I've arrived, okay? So now I go to Dalhut or I go to Shamkir, I cannot remember this place. Uh, just at the border of, of Yemen. Uh, where I began to see what's happening, what's happening? Who's all these people all of a sudden standing there still and waiting for the Omani side to make a decision? So the Omani side makes a decision and say, no, sorry, we need to cancel your visa. We need to cancel your visa and now when you go to Yemen and back, you will apply for a new. And I stand there and say, listen, mister, I am not going into Yemen. I only want to go and speak to the border control and ask them about my visa situation. And he say, no, sorry. And I walk anyway at this blue police uh, uniform. Uh, they stop me and, rah, 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 rah. what you doing, what you doing, okay? And there's no picture there, by the, uh, by the way. You cannot take picture there. So a uh, little evidence is about what I'm saying right now. And he's like, oh, what you doing? Oh, you cannot be here. Go, go, go. Yalla, 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 roh, roh, roh. And I was, okay, okay, relax, relax, no problem, no problem. And I go back, I cancel my visa, and then I go back to Yemen, uh, this side, Yemen. Uh, I cross their gates, and I go speak with the visa side, and he said, no, you need to go to Muscat. And in Muscat, you go apply for a visa, and after you apply visa, you come back. And now my, fini my money, خلاص, يعني. So what does this mean? This means it's shaitan. It's mean it's shaitan's friends. It's mean they are rich and they are powerful and powerful enough to stop me in an economical way again. I was here under coronavirus, uh, maybe a little bit after coronavirus, uh, and there I had exact same problem. A problem in Turkey where Turkey did not allow me to enter my flight to Dubai, uh, and I go in a police station and speak why my reason is to go to Dubai because Dubai is for rich people. You are not rich. Where are you going? Uh, and then I think, okay, so I forget Dubai, I go to Oman, and again, blah, 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 okay? So this is the old situation. And after I return to Denmark, my country, uh, Swedish uh, come, uh, oh, who are you, who are you, what are you doing here, what are you doing here? I said, I am uh, from Copenhagen, I am from Denmark, can I not go home? Uh, and I end up in uh, this uh, police, uh, police uh, custody of uh, why are you here and where have you been? Uh, so I tried to tell them the situation, I wanted to go, go to Dubai, uh, and the police in, 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 in Turkey did not allow me to, to, uh, to, to go to Dubai. Uh, they would speak about my, my, my reason to be in Dubai. So I ended up in Oman, I said. Okay, so I wanted to make transit Oman and Dubai. Uh, and they would not understand why the visa uh, at that time in Oman was cancelled in my passport. So I tried to explain the situation. Uh, it's about my travels that I was not intended to be in Oman. Uh, but the Turkish side did not allow me to enter my flight to Dubai, even I am Danish European citizen. Uh, and this passport was lost, okay? Uh, a week after, 10 days after, this passport was lost. Uh, that was, by, by the way, in, 2000, uh, so, uh, in, uh, in 2019 I'm speaking of. Uh, and in 2020, again, this passport, another passport, uh, with my new name, lost. Uh, not lost by my, by, by my hands or by, I forget somewhere or drop it somewhere. Uh, it was taken by uh, like uh, a, a, a entity I felt uh, seeing around me another way uh, under police uh, police commitment. So the police actually c confiscated this passport with this uh, uh, important uh, visas uh, uh, and my uh, like my 
This is my alibi. This is my evidence for, for where I've been. Okay. So I was never in jihad, uh, or uh, I was never in Yemen in the mountains to fight uh, some Houthi or uh, I was never these places. So anyhow, I see uh, now begin see uh, the Omani side in uh, both Turkey and Denmark. I don't understand why. Speaking with Jordanian uh, from uh, from Jordan and their friends from uh, uh, this this strange. It's crazy. So if anybody would believe me, they would first see my videos. After seeing my videos, they would understand who is inside these videos. And after seeing who is inside these videos, they would understand who is the real terrorist. Uh, what is this? I go up in a mountain, I don't know how many kilometers up in the mountains. I stand for hours and hours with camels. Only camels would be my friends. Huh? And nobody tend to stop up and say, hello, hello, salam alaikum, where are you going? Where are you going? Only the ones I remember from last time, they will say, oh, salam, salam, uh, you, want, uh, you want help, you want help. So from Nokta to Nokta, from spot to spot, from stop to stop, I managed to go from the border of Yemen uh, all the way down to uh, Salallah. And this is by like a, an exact collaboration, a uh, work of somebody. Uh, where I needed to stop, where we needed to make this uh, police stop, a video of uh, who is coming to stake, uh, pick me up from the stops. Uh, uh, this all seems like a bad, bad uh, Saddam Hussein movie, okay? Uh, of how uh, he uh, at some point in his life would uh, uh, evict some of his own uh, Iraqi citizens. Uh, of, uh, this is what I told at least for, uh, to, to me. That he was a tyrant and he was bad and he was evil and nobody would dare to help us. If they helped us, they would kill them all, or blah, 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 blah. So I am not from Iraq. I am a citizen of, uh, of Denmark and Turkey. And by these two citizenships, it gave me a sovereign power uh, to be at the location I want to be at. I don't need uh, acceptance from anybody. If nobody accepts uh, this uh, international... Uh, uh, way of uh, traveling, of emerging in visas, and emerging in, in tourism. This means that country should not be in any way in either political or economical, uh, what you say, the collaboration. So don't speak about how big and how powerful you are in an Islamic way, because it's not Islamic letting me die in the mountains. They basically make me die in the mountains. And so I find back to a little uh, Dalkut town, a fisher town, uh, find a little uh, place for seven riyals. Uh, for seven years, I managed to sleep uh, for the night at least, drink my coffee, uh, drink my water. Uh, and I just look, these people coming in, coming in, coming in. And they just look at like this mission is uh, uh, going on. I think, what I am doing here? Then people look at me. So I don't have uh, this, uh, I was at Jalaba in, uh, in, uh, in Morocco, they call it Jalaba. I don't know here, no man. Uh, in my own language, is something else, but uh, this is, is a men, uh, men dress, is a dress for men. It's Islamic men uh, dress for men. This I don't have. And he said to me, he said, buy something like this and uh, remove this, uh, this uh, something, something is okay. Uh, but I don't need to change my dress or change my something because of something. This has been a manafiq. Uh, and I'm not doing here, this is, uh, let's say, uh, travel or this uh, tourism for... Uh, uh, for anybody, I mean, I just wanted to go and uh, visit wherever I can visit while I have money in my pocket. And now my money is empty. I have uh, maybe 15 hours uh, travel right now back, okay, transit again. Uh, and this transition is uh, just happening all of a sudden. Because normally from Turkey, Istanbul, it's a direct plane to Dubai. They stop that. So everybody from Ankara would uh, transit from Istanbul. Uh, and go into Dubai, and from Dubai they would uh, carry on, or they will go to uh, to Egypt. Uh, but either way, they will make a transition. At least for the tickets I am looking at. I don't know how VIP or elite they are to commit in some other ways of travels. Uh, but this uh, what end up with that, that instead of paying let's just say two hundred dollars, I need to pay six hundred dollars uh, because uh, tourism all of a sudden has begun. Okay, we, we start the tourism again. Uh, so while we speak about tourism, uh, somebody is, somebody is not. I, I'm just traveling. I mean, I'm going out the mountains. I want to eat some yogurt. I want to see some camels. This I cannot do in my country, see camels. Uh, so I think it's the problem here that I wanted to see camels or not wanted to see camels. Because in Arabic culture, camels is some, it's a, uh, it's a symbolized something. Uh, so to go up in the mountains and watch the camels where, where they're free. So I asked this man at the border, so this camel, can this camel uh, cross the border to Yemen? He would say, yes, camel can cross the border to Yemen. Yes, yes. Uh, so I say, so what is the difference of me and this camel? 
He he knows. Okay, so uh, maybe it's uh, some kind of sarcasm. But if a camel can pass freely into Yemen, and a man cannot pass freely to Yemen, this means there's some siyasa, some politics. And this politics is not that I have this. Uh, they ask me, you have barut, barut in your uh, in your in your luggage. Uh, I think that they, uh, they're doing something, and this something is not for me. Uh, and this something does not mean I will stop my uh, travel into Yemen. Now I go back to Ankara, and in Ankara I go to the visa of Yemen and the you know, the, the, the the embassy of Yemen. Uh, at least I tried today, but my GPS is uh, I don't know what's happening. Uh, so I'll go back to Ankara, go visit the, the embassy and say, hello, Yemen, uh, I tried for the second time to enter Yemen and my visas was not uh, okay, they said. Uh, maybe they would not uh, understand the, the importance of my passport. Uh, maybe they would not understand the importance that I'm about to die at the cross between Yemen and Oman by some uh, visiting uh, uh, Indian or Bengali or Pakistani mafia uh, speaking the name of many, many uh, nations. Uh, so if shaitan is around me, of course shaitan is around me. What I do? I spit and this uh, innocent man will say, what are you doing? What are you doing? But this was actually what happened. Uh, just my little uh, luck for my last few hours here. So now I will go into the airport with my uh, VIP lounge card and go sit and feel some VIP. This maybe will be okay. Even I smell like shit at this moment, okay? I have not slept in uh, 17 hours. What is this? This tourism. I think it's tourism. So somebody would ask what happened, yes, all this, all this. I, tra I travel from mountain to mountain to end up in an airport where I uh, miss, not miss, uh, but all of a sudden there's no more seats in the plane to Istanbul here at 8.20 uh, in the morning. So I need to wait until uh, 16, 30 something. Okay, it is insane, it's always the same. So I speak, always the same, what's happening all of a sudden? Just one second before, pip, nobody. Pip, everybody, yeah? Uh, so this, uh, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. But remember last time I was here, this conflict here. What are you doing? Where are you from? Show me your passport. The police would come and Askar would come. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite uh, disgracing this. Yeah, I mean, uh, setting up two videos of two different uh, days or uh, years and I just see, ah, oh, everything is normal. Oh, we don't remember you. Oh, it's okay, okay. Uh, and this is all that's happened here. We didn't see anything. We didn't see anything. So whoever saw it, yeah, whoever saw it. Oh, now my mobile say, Oman mobile, in the roaming position. Now I get signal. 